66-year-old Jihad Moore is the latest to be locked up after DNA from an old rape kit pointed to him as the suspect. He's charged with first-degree rape and two counts of sodomy. He pled not guilty. On the streets of Portland today, everyone I talked with is glad the old kits with evidence from sex assaults is being tested to see if they hold DNA from someone already on file with the justice system. Yeah, I think it's a, a great idea. It's an it's a issue that should have been addressed, I think, a, a long time ago. And I think it's wonderful that we're finally making movement on it. With the Me Too movement, it's clear to many that society is changing the way it responds to women. Well, I think it's probably a good idea. I mean, it's way overdue. You know, I'm, obviously we live in an era where women are finally being listened to and taken seriously about sexual assaults. The comments were thoughtful, but none as informed as Rebecca Morgan. Well, I think it's an important issue and I'm glad that folks are following up on it. I met her as I was asking people downtown about the issue. Turns out she's a lawyer who helps survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault. I hope that the message that it sends to survivors is that uh, the culture is shifting, people are paying attention, people are listening, people believe you and, and care about you and want you to be safe and want you to be healthy. Because you have multi-counts. The detective in charge of the Portland Police Cold Case Sex Unit says the results are starting to pour in now from the testing of those old kits. She has a message for those who think they got away with an old sex crime. Your misdeeds of the past are, are going to catch up with you and I, I think that we have some very tenacious investigators and um, if you're out there, we're hoping to find you. I talked briefly with the daughter of the latest suspect, Mr. Moore. She told me that it's definitely not in her father's character to rape. She's still trying to figure out what's going on.